How's it going everyone? The moment you have been waiting for for Spider-Man 2 is finally here. A major update will be coming to that game. An update that they had planned to get out before the end of 2023, but it had gotten delayed to 2024. Yesterday, Insomniac had taken to Twitter in a response and noted that they're working on the update. I didn't expect to hear anything about it uh, for a little bit, maybe a couple weeks, maybe a month or anything like that, but no, the following day they're giving us an update, and my apologies on the video that went up. It was a little bit dated where I talked about that tweet and then Insomniac dropped uh, this post. But nonetheless, the official post notes this. Our next update is coming March the 7th. Our title update for Marvel Spider-Man 2 arrives next month and adds highly requested features like New Game Plus, However, that's not all. On top of that, you're getting new suits and more. Watch our social media for a complete list of features closer to release. So it looks like this is going to be a major update for the game. Introducing, obviously, New Game Plus, which, you know, you can make the argument something like that should be in the game right away. But these days, when you've got publishers locking New Game Plus behind Deluxe Editions, you know what? I'll take it as a delayed update post-launch. Yeah, well, we'll take that. We'll take the Ws when we can get, or just not getting effed over when we can. When we just get New Game Plus as a delayed update, I'm all aboard on that end mentioned this in the other video, but how I view games is rarely do I beat a game um, and then jump into New Game Plus right away. I don't know about you guys, but that rarely happens for me. Happens every now and again, but rarely, uh, as I mentioned. Usually, for me, if a game comes out, I'll complete it, and then if it's a good enough game, I'll revisit it months or maybe even a year down the line, and then do a New Game Plus playthrough. Uh, there are games that obviously have, like, a New Game Plus trophy baked into it, so if you want the Platinum Trophy, you gotta do a New Game Plus run, and I know some people like to Platinum every game they get. Not really about that anymore, my Platinum days are kinda behind me at this stage of the game, but... As far as New Game Plus goes, uh, that's something I usually delve into uh, post-launch and uh, well after launch. So, you know, these games getting New Game Plus post-release, not a big deal for me. Look, I would much prefer this over uh, the Sega route of locking New Game Plus behind a $15 paywall with the Deluxe Edition. I get it, the Infinite Wealth Deluxe Edition includes other content, but uh, I just completed Infinite Wealth. Did really enjoy the game, but still got to call out nonsense when I see it, and that is going to be crapped on whenever I get an opportune time to crap on it. Spider-Man who obviously was one of the major game releases and really the only major uh, PlayStation 5 first party exclusive last year. Final Fantasy 16 did come out, but that was a timed exclusive going to be coming to other platforms. Spider-Man 2 uh, probably will come to PC at some point. Don't get it twisted, but uh, it was a first party release from Insomniac and really Insomniac has been that studio for Sony that has been so incredibly consistent over the last few years. And if you want to talk about MVPs for the PlayStation 5 gen, it ain't Gorilla, it certainly ain't Naughty Dog spamming out Last of Us re-releases, canceling a multiplayer game, and still not announcing their next title, and it's been four years since the release of Last of Us Part 2, and you've got a studio in Insomnia that's dropped you Miles Morales as a PS5 launch title, they dropped Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart as a legit PlayStation 5 exclusive and a system seller, and they dropped Spider-Man 2, the only game that came out in 2023 that was a legit first-party system selling exclusive. You had VR2 titles, you had Horizon and Burning Shores, but as far as legit new games that were system sellers, Spider-Man 2 uh, was on an island alone because, you know, there were no other exclusives. Sony so focused on their live service games for now and their other projects, you know, and development times have been getting longer and longer, but leave it to Insomniac. And I know that they're a large studio, but they're doing a great job of getting these games out and where it is, next year, they'll be dropping Marvel's Venom. The year after that, Marvel's Wolverine, you know, this many Marvel titles, I'm not crazy about. Would I love to see them put more emphasis towards Ratchet and Clank? Yeah, but we looked at the sales numbers. We saw the sales numbers and how these Marvel games do. Even if you gotta pay a big licensing fee to Marvel and everybody involved for these games, the amount of copies that they sell is just absolute insanity, and Spider-Man 2 uh, performed very similarly in that regard. Spider-Man 2 is also a game that I'm definitely going to play through multiple times. I completed Spider-Man 2018 uh, an absurd amount of time, so obviously that New Game Plus run is going to be done at some point. But the update itself, given that New Game Plus is going to be in here, new suits, and I wonder what else they're going to drop on the game. I wouldn't be too surprised if they do DLC at some point. However, if you go back to when Spider-Man 2018 came out, the DLC for that that game was noted and we knew that DLC was going to be coming I believe ahead of the game's official release that was not the case with Spider-Man 2 and look with Spider-Man 2018 you got the city that never sleeps DLC and then two years after that you also got the 1.5 style release in Miles Morales 
Rumor is Spider-Man 2 is gonna have that 1.5 style release in Marvel's Venom, which makes all the sense in the world. Is it gonna have a City That Never Sleeps style uh, DLC package and DLC release? I don't know. I feel like, you know, as far as generating revenue, why not offer more content for Spider-Man 2? And, you know, you can release that DLC $30 season pass. It just makes a lot of sense to me, and you could also do something like a re-release as a Game of the Year edition or something like that, a complete edition, and uh, when you do the PC release, you can bundle in the DLC, and then you can price it at $70. I'm just looking at it from the lens of Sony, that that makes all the sense in the world for them to go that direction and do DLC at some point as well. Maybe they'll talk about about that however we did have that insomniac leak recently and i feel like if spider-man 2 was going to get dlc we would hear something about that from that leak and i don't believe there was any of that what we do know is venom in 2025 Wolverine in 2026, and then, you know, after that, it's really just guesswork. I know there's some tentative windows that are in place. Spider-Man 3 in 2028, potential PlayStation 6 launch title. But that's so far out that those things can change all the time. By the way, if you have yet to play Spider-Man 2, there is a PlayStation Plus premium trial that is available right now, and I want to say it is two hours. I believe it's two hours of gameplay that you're going to get out of the game, which I feel like is a sizable amount. Look, if you are a PlayStation 5 owner, I feel like most of you guys have Spider-Man 2, but for whatever reason, if you don't, the Plus Premium trial will give you a taste of the game, and yeah, it is a two-hour trial, and uh, Plus Premium, obviously, the top-tier subscription service. Game really isn't going on sale at this point. You are still paying a full $70, and I do know when the game came out, that was literally everybody I talked to, that was the main point of contention in the sense that, um, you know, $70 game little bit on the shorter side it's really you know sh uh, game length is very subjective in what people deem as short uh and it's been a very big discussion point recently in terms of games like suicide squad grand blue fantasy uh but marvel spider-man 2 i thought did a good job of being mostly killer no filler and uh i would rather games like that than add out a lot of padded out content to just artificially increase game time or just get that uh, time clocked in higher and higher. I feel like that's a major issue with a lot of the recent Assassin's Creed releases, and I don't think Spider-Man 2. But nonetheless, the update will be out March the 7th. Be on the lookout for that, and uh, pretty exciting if you do want to revisit the game. I know there's a lot of games coming out, and especially March. Rise of the Ronin, Dogma 2 on the same day, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, a week before Spider-Man 2's update, and most of you guys are going to be busy with that, uh, unless you're super into Spider-Man 2 and you really want to do a new game plus run. I think for most of you guys watching our channel, this is going to get pushed back a little bit, but it is what it is. That's going to do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Update comes March 7th. We'll give you guys an update on exactly what will be included outside of New Game Plus and the new suits once we do hear from Insomniac. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.